Hi, with the workflows in Omega 365, you can ensure an efficient completion of uh, work in a systematic way. Uh, the workflows can be configured in uh, compliance with the needs of your organization. Yes, as an example of that is the onboarding process that we use in Omega 365. First of all, we have to ensure that we have all the employment papers in place. We set up the employee, we order IT equipment, register insurance, uh, add roles and order flowers and a goodie bag that is sent to the, to the new employee. We provide a desk and access card before we complete onboarding and close the workflow. And there is some information that is general, independent of what kind of workflow process we have, like title, severity and description. And then we have some information that is specific and configured per uh, process. Like in this case with onboarding, we would like to know the office account to use, IT equipment, work location, etc. And you can see the process of the workflow here, which shows the last step uh, first at the top. Uh, and you can see that within every step you can uh, assign actions and you can write comments. Mm -hmm. And in an organization you typically have uh, several processes which are relevant to use workflows for. The solution is configurable so you can set up which steps to go through, which steps are required, which information to be provided, etc. It's an integrated part of the solution so mitigating measures in risk management for example uh, utilizes workflows. The same goes for project changes, punch items, etc. And workflows can be a very good way of uh, interacting with the different parties in an organization or in a project. And that could be deviation requests, technical clarifications, interface clarifications, etc. And the solutions support uh, multiple languages. So depending on the preferences for users, they can get these steps in their language. And access can be managed and controlled per workflow process and per org unit. And it's also possible to make these workflow processes uh, available for different parts of the organization. It could be the whole organization or just parts of it. For example, we have onboarding process in Omega. We have many subsidiaries around the world. Onboarding of employees in Australia is different from onboarding employees in US and in Norway. So for that purpose, we can set up different workflow processes which are differently configured. It's also possible to use a checklist to ensure that all necessary steps are uh, taken care of as part of the process. Mm. And also by using uh, reports and uh, dashboards, you can follow up uh uh, the status and identify a potential uh, bottlenecks. Mm -hmm. And here we have a dashboard which consists of uh, uh, widgets that can be configured which widgets to use. We have another view here, a Kanban view, which could be a very good way also to see uh, where we are at the different processes. And you can filter this so you can look at a specific process, you can look at a specific org unit, you can filter for uh, specific uh, uh, severity, so if we only want to look at uh, very high and critical, we do that and then we get an overview of the status of those. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, Omega 365 uh, workflows can be used in uh, different types of uh, processes in your organization. Uh, for more information uh, on um, workflows, uh, check out omega365.com or uh, our YouTube channel. <laughs>